Yo, what's up everyone? This is CryptoBox uh, with another video. We create videos about blockchain games, NFTs, and more. Uh, so you guys should consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you don't miss big opportunities out there on the crypto world. So, uh, honestly, I have found this game uh, really recently. Like, I'm talking r like maybe less than three hours ago and I'm already like in... I'm already like surprised about this game you know i haven't seen a game like this i guess uh though i have s seen like similar tokenomics or something like that um right now they have a supply of 1 million tokens but this actually changes a lot and you'll see what i'm saying here uh, as you can see we have uh the sunflower farm game uh, or farmers it's called sunflower farmers they just got on coin market cap but they have been a project for a while now uh, they're on the Polygon blockchain. They have a volume of already 4.6 million and they're really new. They're like less than a week old. And um, uh, I'd say that you guys should be careful of what you can risk here. So like do your own research. I'm not financial advisor and that this is just educational content for you guys. Uh, if you scroll down, we can see that they're on, you know, swapping platforms and a few other exchanges I've seen. Uh, you can see that they're at the $4 uh, mark. They were at like $21, I'm pretty sure. So they're at $4 now. And uh, you can see that their max max supply will be $1 billion. And I'll explain this right now after our, their Twitter. Uh, this is their Twitter. You can see plant, craft, chop, mine, fish. This is a farming game. So it's one of those farming games. Uh, but really, it's endless of what you can do. You just farm, 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 do whatever you want in the game. Uh, it's open source, so that's even cool that, you know, it's like one of the first open source farm uh, blockchain games. It's uh, like nice and pixelated, I guess you can say it's like Terraria or Stardew Valley or some type of game, something like that. Um, you can see they have about 5,000 followers, almost there. They have a really, really uh, active uh follower base you can see a lot of likes a lot of responses uh more things more tweets every day they get you know multiple tweets a day out which i think is great so you can reach out to your community they have a discord and everything too if you go to their actual website you can see it's pretty neat it's nice and easy to look around uh text is easy to read open source no pre-sale no pre-mine um and then they you know they're on quick swap from their community pool uh like they said some plant craft chop mine fight earn so planting is planting plants crafting is like crafting tools chopping i'm guessing you can chop like animal that sounds wrong like meat and then uh mining just mining in general fighting and earning in the end of and end of that now what i've seen and heard is that their ROI is actually less than a day. It's I'm pretty sure the ROI is less than 8 hours actually. And uh, I could be wrong. But as of right now. It is less than 8 hours. And there's some type of thing where you can get uh, uh, this type of plant. Now I'm not in the game yet. But I might be in the game soon. And if I am I'll let you know guys in my next video or some type. And uh, since they're on Polygon blockchain, you'll need to like bridge from Ethereum, Mainnet, or uh, BSC or BP20. Whatever you are on, you can uh, get Matic tokens, put down your Matic wallet, and then you can get in if you'd like to. You, see, you can see they have a total supply of 1.25 million as of right now. And this actually grows. And once they get at uh, 5 million tokens, they will have the token price. So, um... If you see here, you can see how to earn tokens. It's just planting and farming the tokens. And then uh, just saying like if you bought at 4.8 million tokens, let's say, with the total supply, the current total supply, uh, and then it hits, uh, you know, at 5 million, the token price will half. And basically, I would say investing right when the half starts is the best point of time, obviously. Uh, you can see the code for yourself. Uh, crowdsource crafting. As you can see, you can craft a bunch of different things. Like, that looks... I'm not going to be... I'm going to be honest. That looks exactly like the Minecraft Iron Bar. But it's whatever. Um, you can see craft ERC-20 tools to gather resources and other ERC-20 materials. Are you a collector? 
Uh, you can also craft a range of NFT decorations and collectibles using resources you have gathered. You got the recipes, the endless items, the ownership of your items. So it's, you can sell them on the NFT marketplaces like OpenSea, which I did not expect, but I guess you can. And that's cool. Uh, you can get uh, rewards for being a hodler. Earn distributed rewards every three days by just holding the token and supporting the game. And you can collect your rewards from their yield from earn yield from their pool actually every three days. Like they said, yeah, the resources of minting your own tools and gathering resources like these things and the fish, uh, carrots, whatever. Everything's in the game, and you can go, you know, grab those resources. Then you have the roadmap. And uh, it seems like their goal is to become the number one multi-token economy in the metaverse where players can freely create, trade, and grow their farms. And honestly, I, I really like the, the style of this game because, you know, I like, I like uh, Sardu Valley, Terraria, Minecraft, all those type of games where you can also farm, you can mine, you can craft, you can do all those things. And I just like those type of games in general. Uh, this is one of them, it seems like. And you can see that in quarter two, they want to get uh, mobile support and social farming. So you can have like multiplayer, which I think is great. And uh, we're already in quarter one. Quarter two is kind of far away as of right now. But, you know, it's coming up. And then you got the endless resources and crafting recipes that they're trying to do. So then they have a fully docked team. So it's just a little weird that... Um, they don't have their LinkedIn linked on their main website, but this could be on their other websites or on their Discord or something. But uh, from right here, you, as you can see, like there's no link. You can't click them. So it seems like um, they don't have LinkedIn uh, to their main page, but you know they might have it on some other place where I can't find it. So um, at least you know they, they dox a bit. Now, this might not be them, obviously, so this can be someone else. You have the FAQ, you have the white uh, white paper as you can see to learn more and we're just going to jump to the white paper right now. So uh, here they talk about how to set up your polygon and bridge your tokens and everything. You have the plants guide as you can see this is like a little map, your townhouse or house, uh, your crops that you've planted and it looks pretty nice. It looks very calm and cool to play honestly. Uh, you can see that how much would it cost to like buy these um, plants and uh, what people would say or like one way to get ROI and get good money is to buy like the cauliflower and by buying cauliflower you'd buy it for 0 0.08 SF SFF so then you would sell it for double which works for almost all the other ones so basically you're getting your ROI back by buying this and you'll get your mon money double and that will be in 8 hours because that will take time to grow and then you can go harvest it. And then uh, this table shows the prices of crops at 1 million total supply and we are at 1 million total supply so it's basically exactly almost the same. You can see based on the overall token supply these prices are due to lessen. If we go to their to tokenomics, this is what I want to talk about. So the token supply actually grows when there's more farmers uh, that join the game. And when more farmers join the game, the, to the total supply of tokens will increase. And once it hits these points, uh, the token price will be halved. So you can see let's, we're at 1 million right now. If we hit 5 million... Um, it would have from $0.002 to $0.0004. And this will keep happening until uh, 1 billion. And once it's more than 1 billion, it seems like they'll take the total supply and divide it by 10. And we'll see what happens then after. Then you have the linear growth after uh, 1 billion tokens. The more tokens that are generated, the harder there are farm. In decades to come, when the token supply reaches 1 trillion, there will be no more halving periods, which means it will always stay the same price on depending on the economy. Instead of to instead, the tokenomics will become linear and extremely scarce. So here you can see it's essentially a soft total supply limit exists at this point. And it says that the in-game market rate would be th this number right here. This means a sunflower would earn 
that much of SFF. So, you know, it's, it's really confusing. Uh, but once you get the gist of it, all you have to know really, since we're really not close to 1 billion, all I have to know that every time it hits this point, so let's say we're at 9 million, we're about to hit 10 million, you buy at 9 million, uh, it's going to go bad for you because the, to the token price will reduce and that means your earnings from the those uh, plants will also reduce. And um, here you can see the rewards to encourage Sunflower Token hold hodlers. The game has a unique distributed reward system. Like we said, every three days, they'll be able to get, uh, you know, whatever they're hodling, depending on the size of your farm. You'll get a percentage back. And uh, here you can see the happening. Uh, what could go wrong. You plan a beat root for uh, 20 cents. In SFF, uh, when the supply is four hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred, and it's the increase, it increases to five hundred thousand, and then you harvest it for ten cents because you know it's halved. So that means that if you want to plant a beetroot, it would be five cents, or yeah, it would be five cents, and then you would earn you know ten cents. So it's really, it's c hard to get. Uh, the gist of it, but once you get it at some point, you will understand how it works. Uh, so tell me what you think of this platform. Uh, I might make another video on it because this video is becoming pretty long now. And uh, tell me what you think of this platform or project. Hopefully, you appreciate this video and learn something new. You can always join our Twitter and Discord server to be a part of our like minded community. And don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.